what is going on everyone hope all of you are doing well and i want to welcome you back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video so today i'm going to do a movie review and if you guys have seen uh some of my recent reviews i have done the batman films i started off with the 1989 uh, tim burton batman film and then I did the Joel Schumacher Batman Forever film. So I'm going to be continuing those Batman reviews with the second Tim Burton Batman film, the 1992 classic Batman Returns. So Tim Burton comes back to direct. We have Danny Elfman returning to compose the music for the film. Uh, Michael Keaton comes back to reprise the role as Batman and Bruce Wayne. Michael Golf comes back to reprise his role as um alfred and we also have the same actor who was in uh you know who was in batman forever and the 1989 batman who played commissioner gordon he is returning in this film but we're also introduced to um new characters uh we have max shrek who is played by christopher Walken's fantastic actor we've got danny devito who portrays uh a great version of the penguin also known as uh oswald copperpot and we have michelle pfeiffer who plays catwoman or also known as selena kyle and i have to say right off the bat everybody's performance i feel like is great um the chemistry blended really well between everybody um when it comes to two villains per you know in a movie I'm not very fond of it because I feel like it could take away a lot of potential that the film could have. But in this film, I feel like it blended really, really well, considering you had technically three villains in this film. So the Penguin decides to kidnap Max Shrek and uh, use him to basically get the Penguin back into society. That is his goal. He wants to be accepted by people. He wants to know where his parents come from and you know why they made the decision to get rid of him because he had some birth defects. And you know, he basically blackmails Max Shrek into um, doing this. And Max Shrek gets the idea that he could run for mayor and really put a great name to his name as well especially considering he would be working with the penguin and of course you know this ends up leading him to blackmail batman to make him look like the bad guy and he works out this small little partnership with selena kyle aka catwoman and i'm not going to give too much into the plot but i will have one spoiler for anybody who has seen this movie at the end of the video now like I said before, the chemistry between everybody is fantastic. I love the casting decision. Uh, Christopher Watkins is great. Now, this movie is what got me into Christopher Watkins. I didn't know who he was prior to this movie. I mean, at this time, I was only five years old. But anytime I see Christopher Watkins, I always come back to Batman Returns. Now, the character Max Shrek was not created... Uh, it was created basically for this movie. He was not a character created in the comics, um, which I do like. It gave something different and something fresh, but also, you know, being true to the original comic book, uh, you know, franchise. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's character, uh, portray portrayal, um, as Selena Kyle, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Her performance, I think, was great. She had this you know this great personality change from you know being very shy and not sure what to say to you know being this evil you know twisted type of character which i do like um and she she hasn't aged a day in her life she looks as amazing as she did in this film um she's well, actually one of my favorite uh actresses big celebrity crush and she hasn't aged at all at all um danny devito that man does not get enough credit in any movie he get he he stars in he steals the show in whatever he does and his performance as penguin is absolutely amazing i've you know we've only gotten to well we've had three different live well no 
I'm losing my train of thought here. We've had four, at least four, that I can think of live action versions of the Penguin. And his performance, I feel like, stands above all of them. And, excuse me, and I know Colin Farrell's performance is great. Excuse me. But there's just something about Danny DeVito that really steps it up. And they do a different... They put a different take on the character. They make him have these, uh, you know, he has these deform, um, de this deform, what do they call it? A deformality or something like that? I don't know. Um, but, you know, they put a twist of him being deformed and being more like penguin-like, you know, features. And, and I thought that was a really good spin. Danny Elfman's score is fantastic. I've always enjoyed Danny Elfman's uh, scoring in films. And he's not just known for doing Tim Burton films. You know, he did the um, he did the score for Nightbreed, Clive Barker's Nightbreed. He's also done the score for Peter Jackson's The Frighteners. So um, he's got a wide range of films that are not just Tim Burton films. Um, which is great and he's always been one of my favorite composers and yeah I mean it, it's definitely one of those movies I would recommend now I'm gonna get into a little spoiler for anybody who has not seen this movie stop this video go watch it and then come back so I'm letting you guys know you are being warned that there is a spoiler um, now we've all know at the end of this movie that Selena Kyle is alive, you know, Catwoman's alive, and we kind of see, uh, like, her in the shadows uh, at the end of the movie, especially when they show the bat, I think it's the bat signal um, they show, and she kind of, her head pops up. Now, a lot of the people always stated, well, how's that possible? She died. Well, I kind of noticed something, and I guess this might be with my 4K player because it does upscale it, so everything looks bright. The dark scenes look a lot brighter, so you can notice a lot of details that you couldn't notice the first few times viewing it on a standard Blu-ray. What I noticed is at that end, after she's killed Max Shrek and the explosion starts to happen, you will notice her walking away. Um, she kind of walks away towards the right, um, which is pretty interesting, uh, you know, as Batman is trying to get closer and he looks for Max Shrek. Uh, before I, like right before that, few minutes before that, it's kind of one of those miss if blink if you miss or blink and you'll miss it type of scenarios. You'll notice her just walking off. Um, and I don't know if that's something people have missed. I don't know if I'm the, you know, been late to the party on that, but it was a nice little detail that I was able to notice and I uh, thought it was really cool. So. Um, that's going to be my review for Batman Returns. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a fun movie. Uh, one of my favorite Tim Burton Batman films. Do not get me wrong. The first movie um, is great, but again, that one has a special place in my heart. Uh, one little detail I did notice is that scene when Batman's on the rooftop and he expands the wings. Um, you will notice one of the wiring there. Um, which is pretty funny, but, uh, it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't like, you know, uh, overshadow the, the scene. It's not like it stands out that bad, but it's just like a little minor, uh, detail that I noticed. But thank you guys for tuning in to my review for That Merry Turns. And at the end of this video, I should have two other Batman reviews show up. Now that will be the 1989 Batman and the... Uh, Batman Forever, the Joel Schumacher uh, film. So those will show up on the left and right of this video at the end of the video. And when they show up, just click them and they will send you right there. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, the little icon will show up at the end of the video and you guys can hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you guys are notified. Um, I do collection updates, movie reviews, uh, wrestling related stuff so if that's an interest of yours then definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, give this video a like comment down below what your thoughts are uh, I try to get back to as many comments as I can um, this week coming up is gonna be a really busy week I have mentioned before that um, we're gonna be remodeling my room and that's 
going on right now. I have removed a lot. Um, right now, I just have a few more items to uh, package up. You know, the clothing in my closet, or not closet, my dresser, uh, and everything that's under my bed, and then remove the larger furniture. So it's going to be a busy week for sure. Um, it's going to probably be a few days, maybe a week or two, till I can move back in. But you guys will have to bear with me. I'm hoping before October because I do plan to do my Halloween Horror uh, monthly, uh, or my Halloween Horror Month review of horror films for October, horror, Halloween, whatever. I'm confusing myself. I'm twisting everything around. But uh, until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you in a future video. Peace.